Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. It has come time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck for Halloween weekend, October 31st to November 1st. So I have got to make this just very quick and short and sweet and to the point because I still have to do dishes. I still have to do laundry. I still have to um, carve a jack-o'-lantern with a nine-year-old. And I still have to get my house cleaned up for the little... Halloween get together that Neon and I are having tomorrow night with some friends here. And because, um, well, we, uh, for obvious reasons, can't go out trick or treating with my son. So we're going to have a little party here. We're going to eat pizza and popcorn and watch movies and just have a good time here at home. Um, we might attend a bonfire that uh, a co worker of ours is having. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking we probably will. I don't know. Maybe. It's going to be outside. It's Halloween night. It's going to be a full moon. I mean, why not? Hopefully it's not like super crappy out <laughs> so we can go do that, but we'll see. Anyway, for those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. So it's Scorpio season. I'll start with the water signs and I'll go around the wheel accordingly. It's just a real quick, um, short, sweet and to the point. Energy is what might happen this weekend. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If it doesn't, check your moon rising or your Venus signs. Or if you just don't feel like it's your story, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay, just keep in mind, time and energy can be fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. And I got to do a friendly reminder, if you're under the age of 18, you know, I'd really rather you didn't. I'm sorry, some of the topics that we discuss here are not appropriate for children, and some of the words that come out of my mouth are not appropriate for young ears, so I gotta be protective of the kids, and it's just, it's the way it is. Come back and see me when you turn 18, and I'll throw down your cards for free, okay? All right, that being said, and I'm gonna do this through... <laughs> At least the end of the retrograde cycle until people get the point that this is not appropriate for kids. And if I lose advertisers for it, well, I lose advertisers for it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. All right. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Halloween weekend, October 31st, November 1st. What's going on? All right, quick top and bottom. Hanged man reversed. Six of bats reversed. Okay. Probably hung up in the hangman's gallows about something, not accepting the fate of something. Moving on and away from it, crossing the river. <sighs> Is that boat taking on water? I can't tell. Moving on from something. Okay. What happened? Page of Pumpkins, Night of Imps. Okay. Small offer. Could have been a stop and go kind of thing. There one minute, not there the next. Could have been an impulsive person you, you were dealing with. Maybe an earth sign, maybe a fire sign. Okay. Here and now. Five of ghosts, lovers reversed. There's sadness, there's despair. Possibly someone's feeling it more than the other person. Somebody may have had a choice to make between two people and couldn't make the choice. Maybe it was you. And maybe you decided... To, maybe you're the one who decided to walk away. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's happening this weekend. Nine of pumpkins reversed. World reversed. Oh, boy. Cycles not allowing themselves to end. Possibly due to a little bit of a codependency issue, maybe? Maybe somebody is playing the I love you, I miss you, I want you back, I can't live without you card. I don't know. Could be you, could be them. 
Maybe somebody was just flat out not letting it end. Universe source and spirit gonna get some clarifiers and the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please. For October 31st, November 1st. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirits. Quick clarity. All right, I think. All right, I'll take you two. Seven of coins reversed. Wow. Impatience and just wanting to put it out of your head. Don't want to think about it. Don't want to deal with it. Maybe that's why you're walking away. Maybe you're just sick of being all up in your emotions about it and you're just walking away because you're sick of dealing with it. You're losing patience with it. You just want it to be over and done. You don't want to think about it or deal with it anymore. Okay. I think I know what all that's about. I want to know what that's about. Why is the five of ghosts here? Thank you. Six of elixirs and the hanged man. Okay. There's sadness. There's just maybe you've known this person for a while. Maybe you're like past life soulmates. Maybe this is someone you've known from childhood, possibly. There's sadness here. Okay. Maybe because you have happy memories with this person. Why is the lovers reversed here? The other person possibly doesn't feel the same way. It's not, you know, there's no communication. There's no forward movement. You're sick of waiting around. You just seem to be over and done with at this point. I'm leaving that alone. Why is the Nine of Pumpkins reversed here? Ace of Cups reversed. Ace of Elixirs reversed. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, it's not my journey, water signs, but hanging on, I'm feeling like somebody's hanging on. Why is the world reversed here? Night of elixirs reversed. Knight of Coins in the upright. Oh, okay. This just got super weird water signs. This has nothing to do... I wouldn't say nothing to do with lover feelings, but... Somebody may be afraid to let it end because of financial issues. Wow, this just got super weird. Can I get one more to tie this together, please? Lovers reversed. The feelings aren't there, but... Someone has more feelings than the other person. Someone may be torn. I feel like somebody in this scenario is ready to move on, but for whatever reason, they're not going to. There's a codependency problem. Someone's not doing what's best for them this weekend. Could be hanging on for financial reasons. Super strange. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some advice for my friends here. Hmm. <laughs> Judgment and upright temperance in the upright. Be patient with the judgment of the universe. You have to lay something to rest and allow a cycle to end to know if it's going to resurrect itself again. 
and you have to be patient with the process of the universe. So, let's get the second half of your advice and move on to our fire sign friends. Two of Cups and the Seven of Rods. This situation's feeling a little bit out of control for me. Somebody in this scenario needs to take control, just kind of take the reins and be like, listen, this is what needs to happen because this is chaos. There's definitely a connection here with this two of cups, but it's what you make of it. It's the energy that you put into the connection is what you're going to get out of it. So that's what I'm seeing in here. Okay, water signs. I don't know what's up with that, but if it resonates, let me know what happens. Whew, okay. Someone walks in and out of your life enough. <coughs> but then again, it is Mercury retrograde, so, and I gotta keep reminding myself of that. Mercury retrograde between two crazy moons in one month. Maybe that's why I'm feeling a sudden burst of energy. Full moons tomorrow night. I mean, it could be, right? Crazier things have happened. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 31st, November 1st. What's going on? Justice reversed, Queen of Bats reversed, doggone it, something just wasn't fair, and you don't have a very good attitude about it, or somebody in this scenario doesn't. Mm. Sour grapes. Probably some exchanges of some pretty salty words going on. Possibly. In the past, we have the Emperor reversed, and we have the King of Imps, so the King of Wands. This is a fight for control. Mm hmm. This was a fight for control. It's like, pull the car over and let me drive, okay? <laughs> right here, right now. The Hierophant and the Moon. Wow, that's four major arcana. Four major arcana and two court cards. Oh yeah. Throw clarifier on this hierophant, but I think things are being illuminated right now. Things are being seen that didn't make sense before, possibly. Could have some. Uh, this is in regards to the connection. Let me throw a clarifier on the hierophant in a second. What's going on this weekend? King of Bats reversed, Devil reversed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Salty feelings and a disconnection. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my fire sign friends, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 31st, November 1st. Um, yeah, two fire signs fighting over control or something. I can totally see that. <laughs> two fire signs walk into a bar and they both hit their heads. And if they would have stopped fighting long enough to pay attention to what they were walking into, they wouldn't have hit their heads. Just say it. 
I'm allowed to make comments like that. I'm a Sagittarius. Can I get a clarifier in this Emperor Reverse, please? Oh, uh, I'm putting them back. It's three cards. I am not laying all those out. Give me one, please. Come on. One card. Thank you. Three rods. Things aren't exactly in control. Things aren't exactly stable. But we're waiting around. We're waiting for things to come back into line. Death. There's a change. Somebody went through a spiritual process in this connection. Things were out of control. Somebody was waiting around. Change happened. Change of heart. Change of mind. Spiritual level stuff. Why is the king of imps here? Wheel of fortune reversed. Downward turn of events. Karmic connection possibly. One more. Four of rods. Definite connection. Definitely not in agreement about what stability is. I'm telling you that right now. I think somebody's life may have been a little bit out of control and someone thought everything was fine, but it really wasn't. As down goes the spiral. Somebody's got a bad attitude about it anyway. I don't think how this ended was very fair. Now that we're talking about that, full reversed. Someone may have lost trust in the other person. That's why there's a bad attitude there. Oh, for crying out loud, come on. Someone may have had second thoughts about leaping before they looked. And then looked and decided not to leap. Mm. This Hierophant here. Current moment. Can I get a clarifier on this Hierophant, please? The Hermit. Oh, one more. We're dropping some major, major arcana and some court cards on this tonight. Wow. I only have like two minor arcana. Nine of rods reversed. Not going for it. Okay. If there's anyone like an engagement scenario right now, yeah. Someone's having second thoughts. I don't know who that's for, but if that's your story, this is what I'm getting out of this right now. Someone is having second thoughts for whatever reason and it's not moving forward. I hate telling stories like this. This is what I'm saying. Someone's going through a spiritual process. Someone is looking before they leap and somebody's not going to be happy about it. Someone is seeing that the playing fields are not level. Someone's really going inside and taking a look. Things are being illuminated. Can I get a card on this moon card, please? Five of elixirs and the tower. Like giving bad news. I don't like giving bad news. Please, if this is not your story, walk away. Don't go start nothing with your partner or the person you're in a connection with right now. Don't go start nothing. But I, I'm, mm, 
I'm seeing sadness and falling towers and things being illuminated and people having second thoughts and people not being happy about it and there being a huge disconnect. Why is the King of Bats reversed here? Emperor in the upright, King of Coins in the reverse. Well, someone won the argument. Someone's regaining control of their life for the situation. Could be, could be an Aries. I don't know. But somebody's not happy about it. And somebody's taking an offer off the table. Why is the devil reversed here? Devil upright. I don't make this crap up. I do not make this crap up. You guys watched me shuffle. I don't make this crap up. One more on that devil. Of cups. Playing fields level. Someone takes control back. Somebody is not going to be happy about this. And it's, it, the connection is always going to be there. But I don't see it like, yeah. Someone's going to try to pull away. Someone may try to pull back but I think at the end of the day everything's going to level off and be fine but someone's going to have to win the argument that's what I'm getting out of this and there's going to be some kind of energetic throwdown towers falling, tears falling wow fire signs. I'm afraid to give you advice off of these cards. <laughs> I'm afraid to let the cards give you advice right now. Page of imps in the reverse and the nine of imps in the upright. I'm seeing stay the course because this is just an interruption in the path. Even if this does not go through, stay the course. I don't know what that means. Next. Ten of pumpkins in the upright, ten of bats in the reverse. Okay. You have to do what is right for you. You have to make the decision that is the best for you and that is the more abundant. Even though it's going to be painful and it's going to feel like the sun's not going to shine for a while, it will. You have to decide what is the lesser of two evils at this point. Okay. Fire signs, that's what I have for you. Mm. Oh, wow. It's going to be a crazy Halloween weekend. <laughs> I'm just reading cards, gang. Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know where that came from. I don't think that was my story. That I'm going to leave those cards on the table. Okay. Earth. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what's going on with my Earth sign friends? October 31st, November 1st. One. Three more shuffles.
Love is reversed in the seven of ghosts. Oh boy. Somebody's keeping their options open this weekend. There has been a disconnect. Someone could be in a situation where one person has more feelings than the other and someone's deciding to open up their options. Okay. What happened in the past? The three of ghosts and the two of pumpkins. Oh God, I don't like that at all. Mm. There's a choice. Someone can't decide. There's three ghosts. There's three people in this relationship. Someone's juggling. Or was. Oh my. What 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 happened after that? Temperance in the upright, eight of bats in the reverse, for whatever reason. Things were going well. Someone put it out of their head. The energies were flowing fine. Someone is maintaining patience with the situation. What's going on this weekend? Could be a Sagittarius involved. Also a Gemini. And then this weekend, the Six of Pumpkins in the upright. Sorry, Six of Pumpkins reversed, Eight of Pumpkins upright. Things aren't as equal as they appeared. Someone may be putting their work in elsewhere. Let's get some clarity. I'm not confused at all. Are you confused? I'm a little confused. Things were going so well. Or at least that's how it appeared. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Gonna get some cards on the table for my Earth Sun friends, please. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two more shuffles. Three swords. That's a heartbreaking situation. Either somebody got their heart broke or someone's heart is going to be broken because of this. What came first, the cart or the horse? I'm just wondering. Why is the three ghosts here? I know why it's here, but you know what? Scratch that. Why is the three of ghosts, two of pumpkins sitting here together? Thank you. Ten of swords. This is a painful cycle that came to an end. I think it came to an end when a third person got involved and there was juggling. Mm. Somebody got their heart broke. The connection wasn't as strong between two. Someone decided to choose an incorrect cup, possibly. Maybe should have been more mindful of what cup they chose. Why is temperance here? Thanks. Stability is restored. Temperance, patient with the universe, positive energy. Doors open up. Why is the eight of bats reversed here? Oh wow, I flipped you. The universe flipped that. King of swords reversed. Coming out of your head about it. Possibly thinking with your heart instead of your brain. Possibly making an emotional decision. Maybe you made a decision based on emotion to just put this person out of your head. Walk through open doors elsewhere. Choose positive energy. Choose positive thoughts. Be patient with the universe. Figure it out. Possibly. Want to tie it together? Eight of coins. I like it. Work on you work on you. This is why we clarify, guys. I mean, yeah, you made your you you made a correct decision based on emotion possibly. I mean, you know, it happens. Hmm. Why is the six of pumpkins reversed for what's happening this weekend? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah, one more. Page of Blades reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Blades reversed. Oh, wow. Well, it happens, I guess. Sometimes... Sometimes it does happen like that. One more. Yeah, that would be why it happened. Okay, things weren't fair, things weren't even, things weren't equal. And you found out possibly through a third party or you're about to. Because you didn't want to wait around for the truth. So you found out through a third party or you're going to. All things being fair, equal, and vice versa. This could very well be playing out right now as I'm reading these cards. I don't know. Let me know. Sometimes I mix up my verbs, especially when I'm in a hurry. Wow. But positive spin. Why is the Eight of Pumpkins up right here? Knight of Coins. Four of Cups up right. When you work on yourself and people see that you've been working on yourself, oh wow. You're going to have the choice this weekend. Mm hmm. Let me know if you went to a, if you're going to a Halloween party and how that went for you. Like for real because working on yourself, putting work into you, putting work into things that matter, making that choice. You know, it doesn't matter that you made it because you were heartbroken, you worked on you. You allowed doors to open for you. So what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the spectacular offer because you've been putting the work into you? Or are you going to accept the cup from someone who's done nothing but spill your cups in the past? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Earth Signs? It's up to you. Let's get you some advice because this just took a very strange turn. Oh God, this took a strange turn. The Hermit and the Hierophant, both in the reverse. Just give me a second. No, okay. Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay. Don't put your head in the sand. And pretend like what they did didn't hurt. You really, you really do need to go inside and kind of think this through and not be so impulsive and, and not miss the cosmic lesson that be, is being presented to you this weekend. <laughs> because this is like cosmic lesson time. But you need to do what's going to be best for you, what's going to complete you emotionally, and what's going to give you the 10th cup. Okay? Because... 
See, here's the four of ghosts, which is the cups. Just be mindful of what's in the cup. Okay? Just just be mindful. Okay. All right, Earth Signs. That was your reading for this weekend. Let me know what happens because I just saw all kinds of scenarios playing out in my head. And when you, when you work on you, good things come to you. And sometimes things come back that you might not think ever would and when they see how wonderful you're doing because they want a piece of that. And it's up to you what you do with that. Do you want the coin? Do you want the cup? But you have to ask yourself, how, how soon is he going to spill that cup? Or how soon is she going to spill that cup? All right. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this weekend? Uh, yeah, I'm watching the clock because I got lots to do before I get to go to bed. I probably already have a sleeping kid out there. I don't know. He was hanging out with his dad watching TV. So. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Whoa. October 31st, November 1st. Night of Imps and the Empress. Hmm. clarifies on that in a second before I speak on that. This is going to be another one of those I'm not saying a word until I get the cards on the table. Stand up. This may have something to do with someone you have children with or a family with. Could be a family member. Could be your mom. I don't know. Not. Someone could have been playing the field or could be playing the field. Maybe there's a pregnancy involved. I don't know. These are could be. It could just be a Gemini and a fire sign. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Lots of scenarios here. Trying not to get that specific and that exact. So what happened in the past? Seven imps, five of bats. Okay, before I flip that over. Okay, so... Things are in line, you're in control. Picking up the pieces of something that may have been shattered. Clarifier. Seven, eight. Moving forward. Moving forward, moving on probably from something pretty sad. But you're in control. You picked the pieces up. But it was sad. It was hard to move on. Ace of imps, page of imps. One card. So we have forward movement. We have new... New paths, new passions, something holding you back. Maybe. Oh, that hangman's in the upright. Okay. Accepted the fate of the situation. You're moving on. You walk in the path, uninterrupted, doing your thing. So what's happening this weekend? Night of bats. And the Wheel of Fortune. There's a cycle closing out. Why the Knight of Bats? Ooh, well. King of Coins. 
Hmm. One more on that. Communication coming in. The truth about something. Possibly involving an earth sign person. Maybe. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Something that you haven't been able to let go of. Something you've been harboring or holding on to. One more. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. These are the two cards you really want to know about. The moon reversed came flying out. Secrets revealed. Now I gotta know. All right. Why the Knight of Imps and the Empress? I'll just flat out ask because that's confusing. Oh, where'd it go? Where did it go? I have to get up. Hold on. In jeans. I didn't even change my work pants when I got home. I just like went straight to it today. Okay. King of Cups. There's definitely some deep emotion here. Some deep rooted emotion. Secrets being revealed, offers going put on something you couldn't let go of. You moved on, you accepted it. Just because you accepted the fate of a situation does not mean you didn't hang on to it. Hang on to the person or hang on to the energy. You can accept the fate of a situation all day long. And you can save face all day long, air signs. That doesn't mean you accepted it. You still have deep emotion for this person. Possibly have a child with them. Or you wanted to. Secrets being revealed. Offers being put on the table. Communications happening. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Oh. Someone may be giving up a little bit of an independent streak. Hmm, I like it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Well, you might decide just to be friends. I mean, I see an up to upward turn of events, but I also see this closing out of a cycle because the Wheel of Fortune is the 10. I see it coming together, but I don't see anything manifesting out of it except maybe closure. So... Kept it in control picked the pieces up, walked away, moved on, stayed the course on the path, accepted the fate of the situation, and then all of a sudden this weekend, is everybody bumping into people like a Halloween party or something? I don't know. I don't know. That might be it. I mean, who knows? Let's get your advice, though. What do you do with that? I don't see you being front. I... I I don't see it being anything more than friends. I don't know. I see it coming together, but at the same time, I don't see anything manifesting out of it. I see truths being spoken, but I don't see much more than that. What's your advice? Sun card in the reverse and the two of imps. Okay. Well... You have to take into consideration the other person's feelings and the other person's energy. It doesn't matter if you still hold a candle for them if they don't hold a candle for you. Let's just be honest here. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. You may well have to let go of that rod and move on. But this weekend you'll know. The Magician in the Reverse and the Three of Bats. Okay.
This might be painful. Don't allow it not manifesting to break your heart again. If you're the one throwing that offer out there just on a whim and they're the one who just wants to be friends, I mean, you take the chance. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to say no. So you're going to be no better or worse off than you are in this moment right now. That is what it is. All right. I love you guys. Be blessed. Thanks for stopping by. I got stuff to do. But I will be back Monday night. Monday night. Oh, gosh. I hope, I, I hope I'm not a day late for the work week top and bottom. I will be back Sunday night on All Saints Day when I'm done with my shift at work. And I'm done making a family dinner because it's All Saints Day or All Souls Day, depending on what religion you are. I think for most of us, All Souls Day is on Monday. Either way, you know. Celebrate it how you celebrate it. Tomorrow night, we eat popcorn and watch movies. Sunday night, we have a family dinner. At least at my house. And the day after Halloween, we invite the spirits, those who have left us, to come join us again. All right, I'm going to head out. I'll see you Monday morning. Be good to yourself.